Good morning, friends. It is Eric from Gaming Nexus. <clears throat> this morning, I thought I would take a look at Pathfinder Kingmaker. Now, this is a game that's been floating around. It came out on consoles a couple years ago. It's been on PC since 2016, 2017 in various forms. Uh, Kickstarted. There was an early access version, and it was finally fully released in maybe 2018, 2019. So I've had a couple copies of this game, and I picked up a copy uh, with the Epic Game Store games with the holidays. Every day you get a game thing. And I've always been a little bit intimidated to look at this game because I always heard that it was like hard and it was complicated and so on. And while it is a little more complex than your standard RPG, um, I am loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. I kind of knocked some of the difficulty self settings down. I'm not playing in a way where I'm micromanaging my party. I'm kind of just setting them up, uh, leveling them up when they need to, making sure they have the best equipment, and I let them roll, and I'm just controlling my main character. I'm playing with a controller instead of a mouse and keyboard. So I think I'm pl probably seeing approximately what folks would find on, uh, on, on a console with this PC version. So I am about three or four hours into the game at this point. And uh, this isn't going to be probably the longest video, but I, I'm loving this. I am loving this game. And uh, so I, I really felt like it was worthwhile to make a little video and put it up. And I'm going to put it in an accompanying article on uh, Gaming Nexus. I'll just give a quick run through when I get into the game. So I am still in the... Uh, the intro like there's a there's a prologue um with a set of missions to kind of get you used to the mechanics of exploration and things eventually there's going to be like a town kingdom management section of the game that unlocks i'm not there yet i'm still wandering around in the forest with my dudes uh trying to solve the the opening storyline um essentially a nearby kingdom says like Hey guys, there's this kingdom next door to mine and it's currently being controlled by bandits. And I need you to go take a look at it. Uh, and if you can knock these bandits out, you can have control of the kingdom. So I have been pursuing that path. Uh, but as you can see here, like I've traveled around a lot. Each one of these bigger dots is a destination with some story. And I believe that I am getting close to unlocking the point where I'm going to beat this bad guy and uh, take take control of this kingdom. But I'm not there yet. From from what I understand, like I've got to go to the sycamore here. There's this other bad guy who's competing against me, uh, trying to take over the kingdom as well. He's a jerky jerk. And he was in my party initially, and I equipped him with a dope wand, and then he betrayed me, and I lost my dope wand, and that was upsetting. So, just real quick to look at the mechanics here. Um, if you want to switch what character you're controlling, you hold down the left trigger, and you can switch quickly between your characters. So, what I've got here, this is my main. I chose to play as an elf ranger. I chose a carefree, quote, carefree voice for her. Kind of regret doing it, because she runs around saying really goofy stuff. Uh, oh, that's so cute! Friendship is forever! It's like I'm running Barbie here. Um, this is a, uh, a warrior. She is a guard for the, uh, the neighboring kingdom who accompanied me. Uh, this is my little bard, whom I love. Also uses the carefree voice, but is much more suiting for her. Um, the character work in this is fantastic. Like I never thought that I would enjoy the characters in a game like this as much as I do. But it's like bioware quality character work um barbarian super savage giant sword uh and i just picked up these two recently uh this dude's a cleric uh this dude is a mage they both have uh melee properties as well um i haven't engaged with the magic system too much at this point i can kind of beat everything by just meleeing the hell out of it um, and then I use these guys for, for heals and support if I need to. I did run across a character. I had to Google it, a, an enemy. I could only take it out with fire. So I had to, uh, 
use some magic to to knock him out. Um, but my my engagement with that has been minimal. This is uh, based on Pathfinder, which comes off a D and D three point five, uh, and as a result, like basically your party has to rest. Like it strictly follows the, the Pathfinder rules. Um, so you do have to let your guys sleep and heal and uh, stuff like that. So, so yeah, I think the next place I'm planning on going, traveling to, is this right here. Uh, I've not been to this location yet, so I think we're just going to go there and see how it is. So you click the direction you want to go, and you tap A. I'm playing on Xbox controller, and your people just move. If you try to move too far for a while, they'll start complaining they got to sleep. So, just... Yes, we want to enter the location. Okay, so once once you're in a screen here, the dangers don't frighten me. Um, I'm currently controlling the. the there we world go. Is full of wonder. Yeah, see, she says dumb stuff. You can actually focus in like really closely on your peeps here, if you want to get get a good look at their their costumes oh, and sure armor and stuff. And all of that is uh, customizable. Like basically, when you change their clothes, it shows up on your character and so on. So that's kind of neat. But I do usually play at the farthest way, just so you can get a good look at what's going on. So as I run through here, treasures oh, will shit. like pop up, traps and things. My little bard can uh, undo traps. I'm definitely gonna run into some enemies. Like, what the hell is that? I don't know what that is. Let's go this way first. It's my time to shine. Okay, this is just an exit. This blue fog here has been. Uh, put down by the stag lord who is the main bad guy of this enemy so i'm waiting for this fog to clear before i can engage I with him all right so this has threatened me i don't know what it is it looks like a water monster let's get a good look at this guy what is it large water elemental uh 68 hit points, which is a lot. It's immune, immune to poison stun. Eek. Water elementals, relentless creatures made of fresh or salt water. Prefer to drag their opponent into water to gain an advantage. Yikes! Alright, let's just try beating it. <laughs> Let's just give it a shot. Let's just see what happens. We're gonna shoot it. We're shooting it. Stand down. All right. So my my woman stands at distance back here. Okay. So my melee attacks are reduced. So oh shit, I missed that shot. So she's on a timer. And she's just gonna keep whacking on this thing on a timer until uh until the timer runs out. We got it. No problems. Very minimal damage to my party. If you look, their their hit points are on the left there. So my warrior took a little bit of damage. Me. It's kind of a tank. I have plenty of... Oh, hey, this guy's got some. This is a dead dwarf. Take it. Take it all. Got a spell. Got some monies. So exciting. Uh -huh. Looks like we're going into this cave. Looks like we're not going into this cave. All right, that, that was it. That was... That was the encounter. I'll share my path. Water elemental, not too bad. I've been thinking of increasing the difficulty on this just because I'm having a, a pretty easy time of things. Um, but I am enjoying it just on a story level too, so. Alright, we're heading down to the tree. I'm hoping this is where I'm going to run into this bad guy. I've been searching high and low for him. Let's go. Greetings. Former captain of Eldori's personal guards nods to you. You see each other in Restov only yesterday. He limps noticeably. His clothes are stained with blood. Looks every bit as grim and focused as when you first met, but this time you sense a hint of excitement in his eyes. 
the the writing in this by the way is tremendous i strongly urge anybody that tr that plays this to go into it with the idea that they're going to like take the time to read the stuff because it's fantastic from Restock. the investigation that i've conducted at lady jamande's orders have proved your innocence dope Tuccio was and still is the pataxian spy knew it that dreadful night it was him who had opened the gate and let the assassins in Dick. It appears that he had planned to gain the barony and Eldori's support, only to later place these lands under the command of his true patron. King Yerovetti is no stranger to intrigue, and likes to use others to do his dirty work. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Lady Jamande sends her apologies. All good. Lady Jamande ordered me to capture Tartuccio. We were following his trail when that damned mist fell. First we entirely lost our way, and then stumbled right into a bandit ambush. Alas, nearly all my people were wounded and can go no further. And so I'm here asking for your aid. I'll point out on the map where Tartuccio is supposed to be. Hit it! Bring that scum to Oleg's trading post, dead or alive. Restoff will not forget this favor. Oh, I will bring him dead or alive. Uh, how do you manage that to fool you? That bastard has caused us no little trouble, that's for sure. He's a dick, that Tartuccio. When he showed up in Restoff and announced he was going to join the expedition, nobody suspected a thing. Yes, a gnome, yes, a sorcerer, but so what? Even after that terrible night, some of my people were willing to bet money on you being the spy. His overconfidence was his downfall. Tartuccio's henchmen, it seems, imagined they could safely meet with Pataxian spies in the town's seedy underbelly. But Restoff is the ancestral home of the Eldori, and Lady Jamandi is respected not only by the aristocracy and the common folk, but also by those on the other side of the law. We received a message from the slums. A good friend, who wished to remain anonymous, suggested the Sword Lords take a closer look at a certain guest from Patax. Jamande immediately sent for me and ordered me to capture the spy, all very quietly, of course. He told us everything, and not only about Tartuccio. I doubt that Irovetti was pleased to hear of his agent's failure. So, this Tartuccio guy, uh, despite being a dick, he was here like supposedly competing with me to see who could take out this bandit king first uh but we also caught him doing something else in the area like he was looking for something like he it's, he's here under pretense and uh we haven't been able to figure out what that is yet but i think the story is going to open up now and let me handle it uh what do they hope to find Pixian spies are much like magpies they'll grab anything that catches their eye information treasure artifacts this time, King Yerovetti had a chance to seize the entire stolen lands region, and at the Aldori's expense. I'll give you some advice for the future. Be wary of the Pataxian king. He's truly a snake of a man. Oh, I will hope you wary. Uh, be. engage him it's a little only bit. A name now, nothing more. The House Gares are a noble family in Brevoy. They own several mines in the Galushkin Mountains. My father Evan is cousin to Lord Howland Gares, but he's my father no longer. Oh, In snap, he did some I shit. shame upon my name and was punished accordingly. The family disowned me. I fled to Restoff and took up the life of a simple mercenary, until I received an assignment here in the Stolen Lands. Oh, do we be nosy? I don't think I'm going to be that nosy. I'm playing as uh, Chaotic Neutral, and it's interesting, um, your character alignment changes depending on your actions. Well then, ask away. Uh, let's save this As another time. I don't want to bore everybody. Alright, wait until Tartuccio shows up again. I think we know where he is. Let's go ahead and look in this area anyhow. How here's cute. here's some elk. My my lady loves them. There might be some treasures here. It's always good to take a good look around. Can you make an epic pose and wolves. Oh, I don't even know what this is. But they offend me. So you can kind of set up what you're going to do. I mean, if I wanted to, I could go through each one of these guys and set up what their tactics are um, before initiating combat with by pressing the X to unpause it. But in this case, like these things are not going to be that hard to beat, I don't think. Yeah, so there's kind of a little point in, in going through all that hassle when we can just whack them to death with our swords. And then we'll just take all these furs because we can sell them. Is there trouble? This no trouble. Is my time to shine. Come this at is me. I dare you. A larger area than I thought. 
So I'll just time is over. take out one at a time. So they go into formation. You can choose the formation. And they all run into formation. My my archer plays the back. Because, you know, she's ranged. And you can set all that up in the menus. Ooh, treasure. Friendship lasts forever. The dangers don't frighten me. Ooh, dead guy. Oh, what's he got? He's got a crumpled letter. Archaeological mission. Alright, let's take that. Ah, uh, this club is worth nothing. I'll take the crossbow. Oh, I've been looking for more pieces to this necklace. I'm collecting it. Um, these coins are worth some money. These are heavy and not worth much. I'm going to leave that. For stuff like Ranger's Broken Arrow. Alright, cool, 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 cool. I'll share my path. And then our leader charged forwards. Hey, wait for me. Away, you rascal. This area is like, wait, these guys can poison us, so we gotta be careful to get rid of them. Alright, cool, 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 cool. This area is way bigger than I expected it to be. Climb up the trunk? Oh, wait, what's going on over here? That's this dead guy got. He's got a ring. He's got this gold. Couple of bone necklaces. We'll take them the and some jade. Full of wonder. Yeah, no climb up the trunk. Bet. All right, we'll take it. We'll ditch it if it gets too heavy. We'll take that chicken. Oh man, there's a lot going on up here. Ah, uh, stagger's worth trouble? nothing. Applause, please. He's got some no treasure, sir. Anything else? Oh wow! Wow, so if items are unidentified, you don't have to find, like, a scroll of identification or any of that nonsense. Um, you can just put them in your inventory, and then you can identify them. So those things that I just picked up will probably be down at the bottom. Oh, nope, where'd they go? So, uh, stuff that's red can't be equipped by this particular character. There we go, it's a club plus one. So that's nice, it's got a little bit of ability to it. Yeah, so things that have like that blue circle in them are special, you know? The world is full of wonder. I'll share my path. Oh, look, can I go in here? Oh, nope. Entrance has been blocked. Don't frighten me. Here's some more elk. This area is very large. Hey, have a look. Okay, that's a trap. <gasps> oh, something over there. That's a trap too. I'm gonna send my bard over there to knock it out. Applause, please. This is my time to shine. Applause, please. So all those hey, dice rolls look. and so on are all taking place underneath the hood. Get rid of this trap first. You put a footnote in our story. Ah oh, shit. Ah oh, shit. Bandits. Stand down. I right, that chick's gonna take some damage there. Oh damn! <laughs> what are we up against here? Lots. We are up against lots. Where are you idiots going? They are running away. Grant me strength. Come on, guys. I see your life. They've got fear. These guys are that cast fear on me. Get this necromancer. Get this necromancer. Get him. Get him. Yes, these people are messing us up. The cleric is dead. Get these fools. Get these fools. Oh man, that was a mess. That did not go well at all. That was that was one of those fights that maybe I should have stopped. <laughs> all right, what's this guy got? Scroll of shield. Got some flour. That's cool. I just got a recipe for making pies. Don't need that quarter staff. Gotten a bit more picky about what I pick up. Oh, bracers, nice. Mead, sure, sure. No, no. 
No. Too heavy. Uh, no. 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 Sure. Take that chocolate. No. Friendship lasts forever. Friendship lasts forever. Is I'll take all this. No Negative on that. Sure, I'll take that milk. Goes a long way. Okay. So I think we're in good shape here. I have to definitely... I definitely have to heal my, uh... My guy here. Wow, we're playing as him now. So let's go ahead and use one of his spells to heal him. Just to show how this works. So, Blessing of the Faithful. Blessing of the Faithful. Channel positive energy. Hmm. Shield of Faith. Bless. So he's got... He's got some pretty cool spells. Let's just have a, have a general heal go on. There we go. Much better. Thank you, cleric guy. The world is full of wonder. The world is full of me getting my ass kicked. There's something over there. No time for idling. What was that? What was that? All right, back to the cleric guy. Share your troubles. Good God, what the hell was that? Is there trouble? I think, did I fall down the hill? Easy. Time for fun. Mm. Ah, shit. All right, these guys are not so bad. Let's just hit it. Seren Ray, be generous today, for I am not. Not too bad. Skin these guys. Take all this shit. Are exciting. Man, there's so much going on. This this is maybe the largest area I've been in. And I found a turnip or something. The dangers don't frighten me. A kobold lying in the middle of the patch calls out to you. Judging by a sorry state of his scales, he is the eldest of the group. His red eyes squint from the light, and his throat struggles to form words. Our patch. Our celestial radish. Yuck, radishes. Oh, oh, there's a guy who wants these radishes from me. When I was reading a book, my papa grabbed it from me and threw it in the fire. Then he made me go pick radishes. It was autumn. Okay, 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 okay. The oldest kobold lifts his head from the ground and tries to focus his eyes on you. I don't need all of it. I will leave half of what I dig out for you. Ah, uh, there are enough radishes for everyone. I mustn't forbid others from using what grows freely in the forest. I will take what I want, and no one else will stand in my way. Hmm. Let's try this. All right, let's just ask what they're doing here. Shoot the radish, search for secret truth, small and big. Are these guys all just like high off these radishes? I think they're all high. Look at they're just laying around. Can I can I take the radishes though? I mean, do I kill these guys? I want to take these radishes. Archers. I mean, they're kind of harmless, right? But I want to. I want to take some. Hmm. You know what? I need them. Yes. Let's give them a beating. 
away, you rascal. Down you go, guys. This might be a little mean. Like, this might come back to bite me. <laughs> but I need the radishes! guys have a bunch of crap worth nothing. A scroll of hideous laughter. Oh yeah, take that. A simple smile goes a long way. How do I How do I get the radishes? I don't know how to pick them. My time to shine. All right, I killed these kobolds for nothing. Somebody else need to pick him? Maybe this guy can right pick him. Alright. That was a useless experience. How cute. What else goes on up here? More elks. To victory. Wolves. Stand down. <laughs> Wolves got none. No time for idling. I'll share my path. My goodness. Like coming up on the edges of it here, more elks. Right, that's the exit. The I feel like there's probably a lot me. more stuff. Oh, I failed, didn't I? Oh, damn, she has good, uh... Oh, hey, dueling sword. Yes, please. The world is full of wonder. Anything else? Hmm, yes. Treasures, treasures for egg! Treasures! There are enough supplies to camp once. Ooh! No, 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 no. Yes, please. Adventures are exciting. I feel like I missed something. Spend the night here. Yeah, do it! And some shit comes out at night. God damn it, idiot. Your fear tastes so delicious. Let's see what they're made of. Viscount Smolder Burn? Ah, oh, boy. Well, at least I'm at full health. No idea what this thing is. No idea. Jack lanterns, corpse candles, walking fires, pine lights, spook lights, rush lights, dangerous predators, evil creatures, feed on the strong psychic emanations of terrified creatures. Will o' the wisps. Will o' wisp. He's a will o' wisp. I have no idea. Uh, well, it was quite intelligent, if utterly alien in the reasoning. Sometimes organized into groups. Will it was not age. Anything about how to beat them? The actual bodies are visible globes of translucent spongy material, one foot across and weighing three pounds. The light is bright as a torch. They use their shock ability under extreme duress. Well, let's just try to beat it up. <laughs> Your time is over. Ah, oh, I should have saved. I haven't been saving this whole time. That is a fail. Alright, let's see what happens. Go! Well, it was... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, good gosh! I can't hardly hit it! Where are my people at? I cast fear on everybody. Come on, guys! Come on back. Fear is over. Oh man! Away, you rascal! I can't even hit it. Oh damn! This thing. Oh. 
All right. <laughs> Why is this guy running away? Get back here. I can't take control of that guy because he's afraid. He's my mage. I was going to try some mage stuff. All right, let's wait until he's less afraid. I mean, this thing... Damn. All right, dude. Are you done being scared? Nope, he's still scared. Okay, he's done being scared. Let's see what we got to choose to work with here. Arcane Accuracy, Arcane Weapon Enhancement, Touch of Fatigue, Enlarged Person, Mage Armor, Shield. He's got buffs. Shocking Grasp would probably like, make the thing feel better. True Psych, Shield, Mage Armor. Touch of Fatigue. Not really a lot in the old attacks here, is he? Let's just go for it. Let's just hit him with some stuff. No. No? What's going on? What are you doing? Beat this damn thing. My guys can't even hit this thing. This could, could this could take all day, and the little the little the little chick is dying. Erg. Hopefully, it won't heal the wizard. Come on, dog! Cast the spell. Come on, dog, cast the spell. Oh, she's dead. What are you doing, dog? A miserable last chapter. What a miserable last chapter. Alright, I think this thing is out of like Oh shit. Yes, I understand you're miserable. Okay, okay, I hit it for twenty there. It might be running out of magic points. Oh, now she's dead. Alright. We're gonna load up an old save here. Oh, hell no! I, like, got rid of all- Oh my god, what a waste! Ah! That's where my last autosave was? Okay. Well, obviously, one of the big things about Pathfinder is that you have to save often. But I do feel like that video probably gave a, uh, a good overview of just kind of like the flow of the game and so on. So, I am gonna just go ahead and stop the video here um but despite what just happened with my failure to save which i should have done this entire time but i was distracted by you know other stuff um i i highly recommend this game it is so fun very cool great storytelling like if you're really into you know like D, &D storytelling um whoever they got to write this thing is just fantastic so uh, that's it for me for the moment. Y'all have a good one, and I will talk to you soon.